welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Artex acrylic markers. This is the new 60 set that is actually an extension of their 30 set and does have additional colors. So we're gonna take a look at the colors today. I am going to swatch them out but I'm really excited to try these out because I wanna see how they are comparable to the Posca pens. These are also a water-based acrylic ink, but the difference with these is they have a brush tip. Artex was kind enough to send these to me so that I can try them out and share them with you, so thank you Artex for sending these. If you check the description box down below, I will have a link down there if you're interested in grabbing these markers for yourself. I will also have links to my Facebook group, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I also have channel membership if you would like to find more information out about that. You can click the join button down below this video. So as I said, these do have 60 colors. They are a water-based marker. They have a brush tip, bright and opaque, and you can use these on many different surfaces. And then here on the back of the box, it is going to show us what the markers look like. They just say Artex acrylic markers. As you can see, they do have a brush tip. That is the part I'm most excited about. It does have a list of the colors. If you are someone who has the 30 set of acrylic markers, I will go over which colors are additional in this set. This one does come with neon colors as well as metallics. And they also did tell me that the neon or fluorescent colors, which are all of the colors here that start with an F, those are supposed to glow in the dark. <laughs> so that is super cool. But let's go ahead and get these opened up. So if you're familiar with Artex, any of their markers, you know that they do always come nicely packaged. And let's go ahead and take off the top. We have a little note here and it just says, art is a light that never dims, thank you. We would love to see your sharing of our products by using the following hashtag on social media. If you have any questions, and then they give you their contact here, and then all of their social medias. You get these stickers, they fit the tip of the marker. And then these are also stickers, and I'm assuming that you can take these and stick them on another part of the marker. Let's go ahead and take a look at the markers. They say Artex acrylic markers on them. They do say that they have have a brush tip and then they say high adhesion here on this end this is what the cap of the marker looks like and then as you can see this is the other side that's where we're gonna go ahead and go through and put all the stickers on this is what the brush tip looks like it does say Artex right there on the cap of the marker. I do have the 30 set of acrylic markers by Artex. This set is actually the 30B. There is a 30A set and a 30B set. This 60 set is actually an extension of the original 30A set. So if you have the 30A set rather than the 30B set, these colors in here are an extension of that one. And after I get all the stickers here on the top of the markers, I'll go over with which colors are the new colors in addition to the original 30 from the 30A set. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take these stickers and I'm going to put them on the top of all of these markers. They look as though they are laying in here according to the way that they are laid out here as well. So I don't wanna start taking them out and swatching them and then not know what colors they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up to music as I put the stickers on the top of every one of these markers. <music> putting all of the stickers on top of all of the markers. It was fairly easy. They are in here in the exact order as the stickers were laid out in. You also have the bigger stickers to be able to put on the side of the markers if you want, but I'll probably do those later on. It did take me maybe about 15 minutes to get all of the stickers on the top of the markers, so not that long, and I'd rather have them labeled than not have them labeled so that when we go to swatch them, we don't get mixed up as to 
which color is which. But let's go ahead and swatch out the colors and see what they look like. I have one of my 72 swatch charts here. I do have this printed out on marker paper. This is the hammer mill marker paper that I find works really well with markers or even to print out your coloring pages if you plan to use markers. Now this first color, I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see this because it is white and I could see already that it does a pretty good job of covering those lines. Wow, these are really opaque. Oh, I think I like them. Oh, these lay down so super nice. And you know what the great thing about these is? There is no pumping like a Posca pen. With the Posca pens, most of you know that you have to pump them to get them going. I have the pastel set that I just recently purchased and those took quite a while to get going. Oh, these are super nice. They lay down beautifully. Oh, goodness, that's gorgeous. These actually feel like I'm laying paint down onto my swatch chart. And I don't get that feeling when I am using my Posca paint pens, but these, Oh my goodness, maybe because with the Posca, I'm not covering such a large area, but some of these colors are beautiful. Look at these peachy, corally colors. And I've got different values of this color all in one set. Okay, now we're moving on to the second row and it looks like we've got some pastel pinks here. So these seem like they would be really great if you wanted to color and cover some of those white lines in your coloring books. The color in these definitely lays down really nicely. Those two colors are really close to one another. This one's a little bit darker. Oh, now we have a red. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, these are beautiful. Okay, and another blue. I would assume these are different values of the same color they look to be. And then we have an even darker blue. Now we have a purple. Oh, it's like a lavender purple. Look how pretty that is. And now we're getting into some more pinks, I think. This looks like a pale rosy pink. Oh, gorgeous. Now a darker rosy pink. Look how pretty. And now we're getting into some purples. There's definitely a really great color selection in this set of 60 markers. Now we have another purple, but these seem like they would go down. Well, they do go down and cover that black line right away. Whereas the Posca pens, so I have to wait for it to dry and then go over it again. But these on that first lay down, they are covering that outer black line on my swatch chart. So I really like that. But even the lighter colors are covering that black line on the first go. That one looks kind of like a rosy mauve, but brown at the same time. That's an interesting color. And this one looks like it may be a darker version of that. Yeah, this one looks like a mauve type color as well. So maybe I am seeing what I see in that color. Now we've got some greens. So now we have some grays. And I think this is gold. Oh, wow. That is interesting. This is like a silver gold. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. Let me hold this one a little bit closer to the camera. I don't know if it really shows on camera, but it lays down like silver gold, but now it looks more gold. When I look at it at a certain angle, it looks like it has silver in it. It's super metallic. Oh, that is pretty. That'll look really gorgeous 
on some of my coloring pages. I think it's supposed to be gold, but it's very shimmery. And then this one is silver, but look at these metallics and look how well it covers that black line. After the gold and silver, we have black and now we have green. Oh, wow, look at these metallics. That's gorgeous. I love these. Now we're gonna get four metallic colors. And so all of these colors that start with J, these are our metallic colors. So we get that green, then we get this mauve shade. Super pretty. And then it looks like we get a blue metallic. Whoa, that's so pretty. And these feel as though they lay down a little bit differently, but they lay down so super smooth and beautifully. And then I have one more metallic. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And now I'm getting into the fluorescent colors. I like to call them neon colors. Whoa, look at that. And these neon colors, are supposed to glow in the dark. At least that's what they told me. I would have to test them out and see, take them into a dark room. I don't even know how I would be able to film that and show that to y'all. So this is the yellow. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is crazy bright. So all of these, oh gosh, I just smeared it all the way down there. That's okay, I'm not gonna need those swatches down there because I only have a few more colors. But look how bright those are. Okay, so now we have the neon orange. Whoa. Now these are some bright neons, y'all. So all of these that start with the F are the fluorescent colors. Now we have our pink, a purple. That one is supposed to be one of the neons. Of course, not as bright as some of the other ones were, but still very pretty. And this is the last fluorescent or neon color. It's a blue, gorgeous. But here's all the colors laid out. As you can see, we get some gorgeous colors. If you have the Artex acrylic markers already and you have the 30A set. So this set is going to introduce a total of 12 new colors. And that includes the metallic colors, which are all of the ones that start with the J. So from here, to here, these are our new metallic colors. And then six fluorescent colors. So all of these colors that start with F are new as well. I love that they added on metallics and neons to the original colors. And then we also get two new regular colors, which are C17 and C60. So this is a new color right here. We didn't have a color anything like that previously. So we have a really pretty salmon peachy color now. And the other new color is C60, which is this green right here. And you can see that it's very different from the other greens that we had before. We do get some really pretty shades in this set, but we do start out with our whites. We get a very white color, then we get more of an off-white and then we get more of a beigey white color and then we go into our yellows so we get three yellows this one looks more like a muted gold and then we have our very shiny silvery gold down here which is really beautiful and then of course we get our new color c17 which is a really pretty salmon shade we have a couple oranges here we get another beige and then we get lots of I would say rosy pinky colors that are really pretty. And then some corally colors, our true red. We get quite a few blues. And these all look like they're just different values of the same blue. They're all very, very pretty. This one is super dark. They're all very super dark and opaque. We get quite a few purples. We have one here, here, and here and another purple here. They're all very pretty. We get two pinks, and then we get these browns here, and I feel like the browns in this set are really pretty. This one looks more like a mauve tone. This one looks very mauve as well, and then this one looks more brown, but they're all very, very pretty shades of brown. And then all of the greens are very unique. We do get a metallic green, and we get a fluorescent green. We get a gorgeous shade of teal here. We get plenty of grays that are different grays, some cooler, some warmer. We have this blue right here that looks to be like a grayish blue. It's a really pretty shade of blue. And then of course our super beautiful metallic colors our gold and our silver. And again, this one looks very silvery gold. It's very shimmery. We get a black and then we get our four new metallic shades and then our six new neon shades. But if you're not familiar with acrylic 
paint pens or acrylic water-based markers. These can be used on many different surfaces, not just in your coloring books. You can use these for so many different things. I'll have a link for these markers down in the description box below, but if you go to Amazon and you look at the listing and you scroll down, it will show you all the different ways that you can use these markers. You can use them on canvas or other fabrics. You can use them to decorate eggs, which would be super fun and Easter is coming up. If you're into rock decorating, I know that was a big thing a while ago where we would color all of the rocks and then you would take them and hide them. There's even groups on Facebook that do that and you hide the rocks and people find them and then they share it. But that is a lot of fun. You can also buy the rocks on Amazon if you wanted to get into that hobby. You can use them on plastic, on glass. Deborah Muller has made some little wood pieces with her artwork on them. I've showed them in quite a few of my limited edition holiday boxes that she has. And if you wanted to use markers like this on some of those wood pieces and color them in, that would be super fun. You can use them on ceramics, shoes, you can give them to your kids to make cards, you can make cards with them. There's just so many ways that you can use water-based acrylic markers. But if you're interested in these markers, I will have a link for them down in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring, bye.